Welcome to Jobs and Pods, the only podcast where real employers talk about their jobs and tell you what it's like to work there. I'm your host, Peter Clayton. Today's Jobcast will feature information technology jobs with IBM. They are currently recruiting for a variety of programming skills inside their public sector consulting division. And joining us today to discuss these opportunities is Brent Bunn. He's an associate partner in the Enterprise Resource Planning, that's ERP practice area for IBM Global Business Services Public Sector Consulting Division. And that's a long title there, Brent. Welcome to Jobs and Bods. Thanks, Peter. It's great to be here. Nice job with all of our acronyms. <laughs> Thank you. Um, describe the ERP practice area and how does it fit into the uh, public sector consulting organization there at IBM? Absolutely. Our practice includes 400 SAP, Oracle, and PeopleSoft consultants focused on federal, state, local, and education clients. We are just one of the practice areas within the public sector, with other complementary practices including strategy and change, supply chain, and financial management. Now, on any given project, it is typical for consultants from these different disciplines to be working together and delivering an integrated solution for our clients. And Brent, who are some of your key clients? I primarily focus on clients in the federal civilian area. Over the last few years, I have worked with the U.S. Customs and Border Protection, the Department of the Interior, and the Federal Communications Commission. What are the um, core skills and hot jobs that are needed to work in this area? We have found that it takes a team with a broad range of skill sets to successfully serve our public sector clients, including a mix of commercial as well as public sector experience. Examples of positions we are looking for in our current projects include project management office leadership, SAP functional skills, particularly federal financials and HR, SAP application development team leaders, and SAP technical infrastructure architect. Now, in these areas, we are looking for individuals interested in both hands-on roles as well as leadership positions. Can you take me through a, a typical day for you? What, what's that like? My role involves a combination of sales and delivery responsibility. I am typically involved in either leading an ongoing project or a sales proposal opportunity. I find many similarities in these two situations. Federal procurement cycles are often as complex and can take as long as actual projects I have delivered in the commercial area. My days involve a combination of establishing overall strategy and approach, leading task planning, and helping team members in managing progress against plan. Now, I do enjoy spending a significant part of my day on human resources. I guess this is to be expected as we are truly in a people business. So I really appreciate the opportunity to participate in this job cast as well. I am always looking for new candidates to bring into our practice, talking with them on the phone and responding to inquiries from my alumni and professional network. I challenge my existing team members to grow in their careers by helping them to stretch themselves and applying their skills to daily assignments. Can you tell us uh, about the last project you worked on? What was that like and what were some of the objectives? My last project was quite unique in that we were hired to take over and re-energize an SAP project that had stalled after a couple of years of effort to replace a legacy financial system. We were awarded the contract on a Tuesday night. Now, I remember this as it completely changed my birthday plans for that evening. But uh, two days later, we were sitting face-to-face -face with our new client, having a project leadership planning meeting to chart the course ahead for this initiative. This pace continued, and eight and a half months later, we had implemented an SAP core financial solution at two of the federal civilian clients' agencies. This is not necessarily the pace that is always prudent, but our client needed to get the project back on track and achieve their internal objectives, and our team rose to the occasion. In your opinion, why is IBM a great place to work? Now, I enjoy working at IBM because I have the opportunity to take my career in a number of directions while balancing both personal and professional objectives. Early in my career, I traveled 100% of the time to many corners of the U.S. and abroad, helping with both initial strategy and full life cycle implementation projects. I think back on this time and say, wow, what a treat it was to see the world and learn from the diverse client cultures I encountered. As I began to grow my family and focus my career path, I took advantage of the opportunity to move to the Northern Virginia area to support our federal client base. I'm thankful that this opportunity has allowed me to get off the road, and I feel I'm still making a significant contribution to IBM's strategy of maintaining a critical mass of local consultants serving our growing federal practice. Brent, describe the people you work with for us. 
As we have discussed, it really does take a diverse team to meet the needs of our public sector clients. The individuals I work with include new hires just starting their career, technical or business process consultants with leading edge skills, industry specialists, often from military or government backgrounds, and project managers and executives involved in leading and shaping the future of our business. In all cases, I think the one attribute that gets these folks out of bed every morning is the true desire to make a meaningful contribution to the very government entities that provide us with the quality of life we enjoy every day. You know, I think one thing that would really be of interest to our listeners is if you could describe for us what the interview process is like at IBM. Absolutely, Peter. We do both traditional campus recruiting at the undergraduate level and experience hiring based on specific project needs. Let me walk you through each of these scenarios as they are a bit different. Campus recruiting usually involves a series of interviews focused on academic achievements and potential to both enjoy and excel in a consulting environment. I am particularly interested in candidates who have had the combination of business and technical coursework, especially if they have done projects as a part of their curriculum for local businesses or government entities. Experienced hiring is different in that it focuses more on skill sets and recent job experience directly applicable to the needs of our current or upcoming projects. Project managers and team leads usually from the projects that have the openings, conduct a series of phone interviews with these candidates. When possible, we try to have face-to-face interviews for key leadership positions to help gauge a mutual cultural fit. I often coach experienced hire candidates to take stock of what they have in their personal toolboxes that could be used the first day on the job to deliver value to our clients and to sell themselves based on this capability. As they are demonstrating these capabilities on their first assignment, the candidates should then work with their manager to chart out a career path that helps them to continue to develop and challenge themselves in achieving their career aspirations. Well, Brett, thank you so much for joining us today on Jobs and Pods. It's been great having an opportunity to have you tell us about these great career opportunities that exist at IBM. Thank you, Peter. That will do it for this edition of Jobs and Pods. To find out more about the jobs discussed today, please send an email with your name and interest to ibmhire at us.ibm.com. That's ibmhire at us.ibm.com.